Hey, good evening, everyone. Uh, just doing a quick video tonight to uh, talk about things that are going on. Um, since my last video I made, or, or a couple videos ago anyway, we've got the, the Goldman Sachs stuff, which as much as the, uh, the Wall Street media would love that to just go away, it ain't going away at all. Um, you know, I, I hear a couple, you know, different takes on that. Of course, there's the political aspect of it, you know, and people are saying, oh, well, they just did that for this. You know, they want this uh, bill passed and all that. And if they did that, if Obama is, you know, if they got together with the SEC and decided they'd do a little um, charge on that to uh, jumpstart uh, passing their bill, well, that was, that's got to go down in history as the worst political mistake ever. I mean, that thing's blown up, you know, and I don't care. Even these, even the SEC stuff, no matter what even happens with that, you've got the fallout that's just phenomenal from it already. You know, foreign countries are saying, yeah, we're done. We never, you know, really, we're always kind of questioning these guys anyway. We're done with them. You know, the UK, um, Germany, and all these countries are saying, yeah, we don't want anything to do with them anymore. You know, so what are they going to do now to make billions of dollars a month? Um you know, my personal, my take on the whole thing is that it's kind of, it's time to, uh, it's time for, for the stuff to reverse. You know, they've run out of options and they can't print money anymore and all this. And, you know, if Goldman Sachs goes down, which was, which it looks like, I mean, they're being sued by everybody now from, from foreign countries to states and individual investors. I mean, it goes down to the fact where the, uh, just stockholders, uh, GS did not inform them that there was an investigation and they've known about it for a long time. They didn't disclose that. You know, they've got big problems and it's not going to be swept under the rug and they're not going to, you know, the little, uh, you know, Aaron Burnett or whatever and Jim Cramer on CNBC are not going to come out and say, oh, well, this is nothing. And, you know, it's swept under the rug and they've got lawsuits and they've got grounds for it. That's the thing. You know, everybody's trying to say that this is no, oh, this is no big deal. You know, oh, everybody does it. I guess we're on kindergarten playground. What, everybody, you know, steal billions of dollars, you know, and cheats you know, investors and and uh, <laughs> lies about these funds. They set up the, their synthetic derivatives. And, uh, <laughs> you know, the, and the whole point of the whole thing was to get people to put money in it. And meanwhile, they're just going to set to slam it as soon as the door shut. Yeah, it's not good for them, and it couldn't happen to a bunch of nicer people. You know, I've been doing videos on this for, you know, 12 months at least. And they can't say, you know, nobody can say that they didn't know what was going on with this stuff. I mean, you've got websites that are devoted to exposing what GS was doing. You know, I'll put one down here, you know, and, G and, and GS can't say that they didn't know this stuff on there because they sued them. GS tried to sue them and put them out of uh, business and tried to get them to take their website down. Um, you know, so you know, when you hear, uh, you know, Erin Burnett this morning announced that, well, she doesn't know what's going on. Well, she's only seen Goldman Sachs' side of the story so far. And she's a, uh, and she's a, uh, a reporter. She's a financial, you know, uh, reporter from Wall Street. What kind of sense does that make? You know, if you had a, a News 13 reporter, and they just arrested Def Jeffrey Dahmer a few days ago, and they're asking about, wow, well, this guy, wow, he's crazy. And the reporter says, well, I think he's innocent. I, I've uh, only thing I've heard is his story. And they're like, hey, there's heads in the freezer, man. Oh, I don't know. I don't know anything about that. I just, uh, I've just heard uh, Jeffrey Dahmer's side of the story. You know, you got to be kidding me. You know, and these people, well, what are they thinking anyway? You know, are they thinking that, you know, they've got on board. They basically sold their soul to the devil and they think that they're set now for life. You know, this stuff is not going to last. You know, it's going down one way or the other. One way or the other, this stuff is not, is, is uh, short-lived. And where are they going to be? I mean, you've got these Jim Cramer, Aaron Burnett, all these people, they're gone. They've got absolutely no credibility any longer. And they're done. So I, I don't know what they're thinking. They're trying to defend, you know, of course, they both used to work there at Goldman Sachs. And I think it's the end of the road, you know, and Goldman Sachs is plunging. It was down five bucks again today. Oh, I want to provide you with, uh, you know, a couple links. The, um, the risk for um, 
Goldman to fail is just skyrocketing. I mean, people are saying, oh, well, they'll have their hearing tomorrow and everything will be okay. Well, the CDS spread on this is up to 170 you know, points or something. It looks like the Greece default. The same thing was going on there. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to make a little quick video and talk about some stuff with you guys. And since YouTube is really slow lately, and, you know, there's tons of stuff to talk. I'd love to uh, uh, talk a little bit about that Arizona thing. That's kind of a topic, too. I'll spend it a minute. You know, I think, you know, I've heard both sides of the story, you know. And my opinion is the people of Arizona want it, and I really don't see what the real big problem is of putting, you know, I mean, if you if there's some question, it's like, hey, can you prove you're a resident? You know, can, can you show, you know, some some paperwork to show that you're a, a resident. It, isn't that what we've been going, you know, so mad about for year, going back, clear back to Bush is to secure the goddamn borders. Isn't that what we've been going on about for so long? And now, you know, they're saying, hey, we're going to put a law in here that says you got to show some paperwork, you know. And I understand it. It's, oh, well, that's the state and they're going to, you know, and that's the, the Nazi regime and show your, your paperwork and stuff. You know, I, I can see both sides of it, but the people are, of Arizona want it. And to me, I tell you what, it's pissing off Obama and Al Sharpton and all those guys and Napolitano. And frankly, I think if they're really pissed off about it, I, I'm leaning to the, to the side where I think I think everybody should start doing that. You know, show some paperwork to show you're, you're a damn citizen. And what's Obama really mad about? That he can't go to Arizona now? Yeah, that's what he's mad about. Because if he knows he goes to Arizona, he can't show that he's a citizen. That's what the fury, all the furor is over. But anyway, hey, thanks for watching and just wanted to chat with you guys for a minute and take it easy. some other things you can tell people about Geico. Great claim service and a 97% customer satisfaction rate show people really trust us. Yeah, right. Yeah. See, trust is key when talking about Geico. You gotta feel it. Why don't you and I practice that with a little exercise where I fall backwards and you catch me? Uh, no, sir. I, I, honestly, I don't think so. No, no, we can do this. Oh, yeah. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Well, this lead ball merch just kept getting bigger and bigger. Thank goodness Pizza Hut Pizza Hut are now just $10 each. $10. We could actually get everybody the pizza they love. Yeah. Supreme Man Pizza, Pepperoni Lovers. We take a ton of money, and all these kids got exactly what they want. We'll be back. Nice. They shot me first. Right now, any pizza at Pizza Hut is just $10. Any pizza, any size, any crust, and any toppings for only $10. Only at your Pizza Hut. Have you ever gone out thinking you were going to get just another slice of pizza? And presto, gathered the time, unexpected, magical night out from Stanley. Pizza never is easy as cash and checks.